In this video, we're going to go through yet another time value of money CFA level one exam style question, this time computing I over Y. So that's the interest rate or yield necessary to get us from point A to point B in terms of money over a certain amount of periods or years. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. And this is the relatively simple short question that we want to have a go at. How much must an investment earn annually if it is to grow by 50% over a period of nine years? So as you can see, we're provided with um, the inputs, but not given PV and FV as such. Just We're just told that the investment should grow in value by 50%. So don't be scared of such a question. Uh, make something up. So... What we could do, for example, is have a PV um, for our calculator um, equal to 100, but make sure that the input becomes negative when you type it in. An FV, which is, you know, accordingly 50% higher. So, um, yeah, growth of 50%. So 150, but this time around, uh, we're making the FV uh, positive. Uh, for reasons which I explained in the previous video, so I'm not going to repeat myself in this one. If you want to go back to the previous one and have a look. And the number of periods is naturally nine. We're not going to have any PMT. We're not going to have any payments yet. And we're going to get the calculator to compute uh, the I over Y. So let's take the calculator and make these inputs. So let's always clear the time value of money worksheet first. So that's second followed by FV. And now let's make the inputs 100 negative for PV, 150 for FV. I'm ignoring PMT. I just need to have nine for N and compute I over Y. And as you can see, my calculator is giving an answer of four 0.61%. And that seems to very nicely correspond with answer A, doesn't it? So A is the correct answer. Now, it doesn't matter whether you choose 100 and 150 here, or maybe 200 and 300, as long as the relationship of 50% more is maintained, that's going to give you the right figure. So be ready for such kind of open questions in the exam where you have to make something up. Um, it's absolutely normal. Now, I still want us to, or I want to give you the relevant formula for computing the um, I over Y without using the TVM. So let's go back to a uh, an expression which I introduced in the first video from this TVM series, and that was FVN, the future value at point N, is equal to PV times 1 plus R to the power of N. And we can easily actually uh, get N from this. What we need to do is say, okay, 1 plus R to the power of N equals FVN divided by PV. So I basically changed the sides, flipped the sides, and then I just kept this term on one side. Now, 1 plus R equals FVN divided by PV and we take the root uh, with the exponent of the power of n, and we are therefore left with r equals this much minus 1. And what you could do here is, ladies and gentlemen, also write this in a, in a slightly... I'm missing the n here. What we could write this as, and this is going to be easy to put into our calculators, is to say, okay, r equals... Let's have this in brackets, FVN divided by PV to the power of 1 over N minus 1. So basically, in our little scenario, what this becomes is R equals 150 divided by 100 to the power of 1 over n, 1 over 9 minus 1. Uh, remember that taking the root to the power of n, or with an exponent of n, is equal to multiplying 
uh, sorry, to take raising to the power of 1 over n, in this case 1 over 9. Let's see what this gives. I've got my calculator over here. So um, 150 over 100, that's obviously going to be 1.5. Now to raise to the relevant power, we're going to use that very useful key, which I've used a lot of the times before in the previous TVM questions, y to the power of x. So y to the power of x, and now 1 over 9, what I could do is just perhaps open bracket, do 1 divided by n, close bracket, press equals, deduct 1, and I can see 0 0.04608, which is basically um, rounded up to 4.61% answer confirmed. So in the exam, do whatever feels more, um, feels that you're easier with, more comfortable with, but don't avoid, please don't avoid this, these types of expressions, practice them because ultimately in the exam, sometimes you won't be able to use the TVM worksheet and you need to understand these types of transformations. For example, that this is the same as this. It will come in useful, I guarantee.